good news, my lovely, wonderful people. According to EFCC Instagram handle, the former petroleum minister, um, Alison, has reportedly sent she reportedly um, sent a serious plea message to Bola Metinobu, pleading and begging with him. Uh, in case you're not aware, she has stage two cancer, according to her plea and her report to Tinubu that she has stage two cancer and that Tinubu should please permit her to return to Nigeria to confess to her financial misconduct during her tenure here rather than leaving her in the UK with all the hate challenges that she's going through. That she, she's begging that Tinubu should please tamper justice with mercy, allow her to come home, uh, that she has, according to her, she has stage two cancer and um, we please want to come home and answer for any question they have with regards to financial uh, misappropriation rather than leaving her in a foreign country. So this is the report reaching us right now and um, her plea and her, you know, uh, plea to the Tinubu's administration. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. According to EFCC Instagram handle, the former petroleum minister, Alison, reportedly is in a stage two, is in a second stage of her cancer, had employed President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to permit her to return to Nigeria to confess to her financial misconduct during her tenure. She went on to mention her association with uh, Lawa Dari, the current governor of Zamfara State, to whom she entrusted over $9 billion for safekeeping, while he served as the executive director of First Bank of Nigeria, PLC. I have $5 billion with him. And $9 billion, I beg your pardon, with him. Speaking to the press in London after a medical visit, the ex petroleum minister accused of embezzling billions of dollars from Nigeria expressed her readiness to disclose details of the funds she allegedly misappropriated while in office. I am now a born again Christian. I am currently, I am currently gabbling with the second stage of cancer for which my United States-based physician has advised me to continue medication for the rest of my life, she disclosed. Yes, no one is flawless, but sometimes God Almighty permits such occurrence. I have been accused of financially misappropriation during my tenure as a petroleum minister and it trusts. However, I would like President Bola Metinobo and Nigerians to forgive me, allow me to return to Nigeria and back home and contribute because life is life is not a uh, one stage. Alison tearfully said, I would like to come back home and live with my own and rest and give all the information they are asking me. Reveal that she also revealed that Lawa is now unresponsive to her call and has collaborated with the United Kingdom police to subject her to surveillance, possibly to claim the, uh, to, possibly to claim the entrusted fund upon her dynasty. This is why he's not answering me anymore. She said, my husband and my entire family members, including my Nigerian lawyer based in the United Kingdom, knew my relationship with Lawa Dari, the current Zamfara state governor, whom I entrusted over $9 billion for safekeeping while he was the executive director of the first Bank of Nigeria is no longer picking my calls because he's looking forward to my death so he could keep that money for himself. Unfortunately, it has now come to a point that Mr. Lawa is no longer picking my calls and over and even worked in collaboration with the UK police to keep me under surveillance. Maybe he intends to, he thinks I will die soon so he can claim all this money for himself but i will make everything known so that's the former uh 
petroleum minister. Now, this is the ordeal going on. She's pleading with uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu to allow her to come back home. Says she wants to come back home. She wants to come and stay with her family. You know, she's in the UK and the uh, court cases are going on and what have you. She said she gave money, you heard it, $9 billion, you know, to former central bank. Uh, uh, so you see, my people, <laughs> for this country to go there, everybody get parts to play. Uh -huh. So she don't beg, say, we say she won't come back home. May they forgive her. Nigerians, say someone I forgive too. But the thing when I want to talk, we say not be only she. Now I don't take money, we belong to the country. Yes, it's good she's been investigated, but where are others? We will not just call it speed is speed. Only to noble wife give out one billion recently, Abby. They said our first lady. Where that money and location come from? Let's be honest now. Most of the deceiver said this country, <laughs> it is well with us. <laughs> you never know anything. This country. Now those with though with you, if you say you eh, they won't deal with you. Now their story you they hear. The other people, their story not the hear. You know me say me will not deal with uh, something with the illegal. Anybody will do anything they criminal activity that person should not be dealt with her. but we are zanfara state governor former zanfara state governor you know what did that man do to mention but a few fear of god will cash you this way they have for this country <laughs> now they cash be tifu now they cash be tif anyway she they beg say she won't come as me they forgive her she won't deal with her family they put on that surveillance for uk not be smart today happen to her for this so she will confess say she give one governor nine billion for you nobody do they go investigate that governor that person and a governor. That's Nigeria for you. That person so a governor. You the see answer. So it's just things like this are some of the things that happen in this country. And every single person, you know, just wonder where and how we can truly, you know, change some of these things and really move this nation forward and advance it. Because if we continue to pretend to ourselves that, you know, things are all right, when things are really not all right, then we stand no chance of really making real meaningful and impactful impact that could change the course of the nation and better the lives of you know the people in general we have to be intentional you know change is intentional you know leave us a comment we would love to hear from you you see please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news to know yourself whether they beg so he clean eh nobody cash be thief I beg you, Ninja. Let's hear your thoughts. Bye for now.